hey what's up guys welcome back to another tutorial in this tutorial i'm gonna show you guys how you can easily create this gradient blur background animation inside after it so let's get started guys so i'm gonna start with a new composition and i'm gonna call this gradient blur background animation okay and i'm gonna go with a 2k resolution 24 frames per second and let's go with 7 second and this duration okay and i'm gonna go with black ground color as black and i'm gonna hit ok okay perfect now we have empty composition so we need to add some shapes so let's go to toolbar and here i'm gonna set the uh, shape tool as ellipse tool okay and i'm gonna select a beautiful color so for this one i will go with a bit harsh red okay and i'm gonna hit ok okay you guys can pick whatever color you like and then just hold shift on your keyboard and just drag a perfect circle like that okay and yeah i will place it like that now you can press v to select or you can just select this selection tool and by pressing that you can just move it like this okay so i'm gonna place it around here and then i'm gonna score this shape and then i'm gonna select this and then i'm gonna press v to print position properties so for this tutorial i have this expression you guys can just copy this expression from the description and i'm gonna just copy this and then go to position and then hold alt and click on this stopwatch icon and i'm gonna just press ctrl v to paste it okay and this is basically a wiggle loop so we can give a duration a loop time as our composition so right now i have seven seconds so i'm gonna set this the composition to seven seconds so if you have a composition with different uh duration let's say 10 you guys can just give a 10 as your loop time okay so right now i have a 7 so i give a 7 all right uh, so frequency is 0 0.5 is pretty good and uh, just this elegant smooth motion like this okay and as you can see it give you a loop wiggle and okay this this is perfect now we can just select this and then duplicate and place it around different position somewhere around here like that let's also change the color to something uh, maybe see like this yeah that's cool and now we need to add a background so i'm gonna create a new solid layer so right click new solid and i'm gonna set this solid color as black okay and i'm gonna call this bg make sure you select this make comb size so it will give a uh, excess in your composition size and then i'm gonna hit ok and let's bring this layer down like that all right now i'm gonna also create a new adjustment layer. so right click new and adjustment layer and i'm gonna call this blur. okay now you can go to effect and preset if you don't have this panel you can go to windows and find this effect and preset here okay and or, or you can just press ctrl 5 on the keyboard and it will bring this panel and i'm gonna search for fast box blur, okay and just double click make sure you select this blur layer and then just double click and it will apply or you can just drag and drop to this layer like that and then i'm gonna increase the blur radius like that okay this will give us this nice looking smooth background like that you can also increase the iteration it will give that smooth iteration like that and it will nicely blend with the two shapes as you can see you can also just add a third shape from here and then change the color whatever you like okay and yeah let's do it let's give it a little bit orange color like that yeah looks pretty cool and now we need to add some noise so because this is a gradient layer uh, we can add some noise so i'm gonna right click new and then add uh, another adjustment layer let's go with this noise and i'm gonna go to if i can please it again and i search for noise hls effect and i'm gonna double click okay and it will apply and i'm gonna set the noise type as gray if you zoom this in we can see it a bit i'm gonna increase the lightness uh, maybe 10 and let's also set the grain size to 0 0.2 and i think this is too much so i'm gonna set the lightness to maybe three maybe yeah maybe one or one or two yeah let's stick with it too i think it's pretty good you can also increase the saturation 
maybe five and you can also just play with the cube if you see this uh, mark a warning mark you can go to project and as you can see i have 16 bit uh, depth so if you hold alt on the keyboard and click on this 16 bit it will uh, make it 32 and, and then if you click again it will make 8 and it will go away but I recommend you guys just stick with the 16 because it will uh, smooth the uh, gradient okay and yeah doesn't matter this uh, warning okay and now if you check this you will probably have a pretty good nice looking uh, gradient as you can see maybe let's change the color of, of a third shape uh, something different like that yeah you guys can just play with i just want to show you this uh, technique okay and you can also just select the layer and just distribute everywhere not only three you can just uh, duplicate however amount you like okay it will give different gradient backgrounds and yeah you can use this background for your next motion graphic project i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any question let me know as always thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the support on my patreon page and i really appreciate that and yeah and i wish you guys in the next one with another after tutorial peace